Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the best scripts for Pet Simulator X. And these right here are the four newest scripts for the Kawaii update, and they have some insane features on them. And if you don't know how to use these scripts, there's going to be a tutorial video that I have in the description for you, so you can check that out if you need some help. So yeah, these scripts have auto farms, pet changers, automatic machines, and so much more. But I'm going to start over here on JMES, which is my personal favorite script right now. This is one of the only scripts that has no keys on it. So starting over here in the farming tab, I'm going to go in the Kawaii Temple and click on the Super Farm, which as you can see, there it goes. It's going to be the fastest method for farming right now. And if you do let this run overnight, you're going to be getting so many coins. I mean, you guys could just see I'm getting like 100 million every second. And there we go. What did that take? Like 10 seconds and we're already almost at 2 billion Jamrock coins. So yeah, really, really fast method for auto farming. You can also, of course, farm for the big chests if you want to. If you scroll down here, you can use any of these chests. You know what? Before I get too far into this script, I'm going to show you guys how to use the pet changer so it's actually really easy any huge that you have in here you can turn it into any titanic pet or any huge pet and as you can see i can actually use them so it's like a real pet so i can go over here now and use it on this big chest and get my dps up a little bit we can ride him around and let me show you here i'm going to turn him into a, a titanic jolly cat unequip it and equip it again and then they should turn into a bunch of jolly cats as you can see and you can even do this for some of the unreleased pets so if i come over here and show you with this watermelon or the hippo melon i don't even think this is released into the game yet and I can still use him. Yeah, enough of that. I'm going to show you guys the egg tab now, which is the fastest way to open eggs. It's almost two times as fast as opening them normally. And just for the sake of this, I'm going to go all the way down here to the first kawaii egg so I can open up a bunch of them for you. So as you can see right here, if I come over to the, you just want to scroll down until you find the egg that you want. And it should just take a couple seconds here, as you can see. And it's just going to keep on opening them. And before the other one even finishes, it's going to start this one. And of course, as you guys can probably tell, all these GUIs have something for eggs on them. So Milk Up has one. Atlas Tub has one. Let me show you it on here. Here's the Kawaii Egg. And now I can click on Octuple Egg. And there you go. As you can see, this one might be even a little bit faster than JMES. But yeah, this is definitely way faster than opening them normally. Because as you can see, if I was to just turn on my auto hatch, this is how fast it is. Very, very slow. You have to wait for the entire animation to go through. So yeah, definitely not optimal. You also have a ton of auto farms over here, but I'm going to showcase this script last. And yeah, of course, if you scroll down here, you can also select the amount of time that it takes to open and close your inventory, which is going to be an anti-lag. Yeah, pretty useful stuff there. If you come over here to the pets tab, you can also do an auto enchant, which is pretty fun. Let me go over here to the enchanted forest and show you that really quick. And if you didn't know, the best way to get pets right now or coins is to autom is to use this pet right here called the... I don't know how many of these I have. This one right here, the dino... The, this one right here, the dino bear or any of these other legendary pets. You could just select them. So I'm going to do this guy right here. The, uh, where is he? I'm going to use the dino bear right here and I'm going to unequip all my pets, equip the dino bear. So this should be my only equipped pet right now. And then I'm just going to come over here. And as you guys can see right now, he has agility one. I'm going to select the enchant type to be a cartoon coins five, which is of course pretty rare. As you can see, here it goes. But whenever I get this enchantment, it's going to stop cartoon coins three. He just got there. Diamonds 5, he got teamwork, now he has tech coins 2, yeah really really cool stuff on the script, you get, you could just leave this on until he gets it, you can even do this with like multiple pets, yeah I'm not gonna make you guys wait for it until we get that enchantment, yeah we ended off with strength 2, not too bad, um, you also if you scroll down a little bit more as you can see you can do this with a golden or rainbow conversion, so let me show you that really quick, I'm gonna try to convert all these flower pandas, flower pandas, go over here, and I'm going to show you how this works. So all you have to do is actually select the amount of pets you want. And I'm going to show you this right here. So let's go near the machine. And as you can see, we have all these pets here that are normal. And I'm going to click on auto golden pets. And then just give it a few seconds. And then there we go. We just turned all those golden pets into normal or all those normal pets into golden pets. And you could do that for rainbow. You could do that for dark matter. You can turn this is always turned off by default so it's, oh, don't worry it's not going to turn your normal or your sh normal shiny pets into golden pets and there's just so much useful stuff on here like you can automatically lock all your pets you can automatically delete your pets you can select specific types and then do things to them so yeah you can pretty much automate everything that you do in this game with this script so really nice stuff there if you come over here to the redeem or boost tab you can automatically redeem gifts and rewards you can automatically use your boost and the server boost and you can even automatically buy stuff from the merchant without even teleporting there. So if you leave this on overnight, you can automatically farm, open eggs, uh, upgrade your pets, buy the merchant tiers, do all this stuff without even touching your keyboard. 
And on top of that, they also have a pet sniper. So if you come over here to the trading plaza tab, this is one of the only scripts with a fully working free pet sniper. And if you guys don't know what a pet sniper is, if you join into a trading plaza world, this is going to automatically snipe any huge pet that you want for a really low amount of gems. And this is actually how most people are getting their huges that they're like selling or using because people will sell their pets for way too low and then you could just snipe them and buy them. So as you can see right here, I'd select the type of pet. So for me, I would usually do any and then I'd scroll down here and or no over here, I'd change the rarity to huges and the type will be any. And then that's pretty much all you have to do. You just select the name of the pet. You can um, type in the amount of gems that you have that you want to snipe under. And it's just going to keep on server hopping until you get any pet that you want. So yeah, pretty useful feature there. You of course also have the settings where you can change any stuff about the GUI, including your walk speed. So let's try to walk a little bit faster now. We should just, yeah, there we go. So our normal walk speed is a lot faster. And this is of course a ton faster than a hoverboard. So if you want to get around the map pretty fast, let me show you this right here. Okay, so I'm going to go from the eggs all the way to that big chest over there in just a few seconds. And we're right back here. I don't really know why you'd use this over a teleport. Maybe if you don't want to open up the menu. But yeah, it is still pretty fun to use. And yeah, that's all I'm going to showcase for JMES. So moving on now to Milka. This is actually a script that they've been updating almost every single day for the past month. And if you want to join their Discord server, that's going to be on the settings tab, I'm pretty sure. Or no, I don't actually know where their Discord server is. Maybe in the... Yeah, I don't know where it is. Yeah, if you join their Discord server, it's discord.gg slash milkup, and they're going to be sending update notifications every time they update. And as you can see, so far they've added an auto farm, the egg tab, miscellaneous, which has boosts and all this other stuff like redeeming gifts. You can unlock any hoverboard that you want, so I could do like steampunk. There we go. And I should have this unlocked now. Where's the steampunk hoverboard? There we go. It's going to say I don't have it, but as you can see, I'm clearly using it right now. So yeah, pretty cool. You can do that with any hoverboard in the game. Um, you also have a... Where was it? Oh yeah, that's all that there is on this script. Or that tab right there. You have the machines like Dark Matter, Golden, Rainbow. You can teleport there. Uh, your auto pet collection. So that's that thing over there in the corner. It's going to automatically open up some eggs for you. You have notifications where you can automatically send yourself notifications on Discord whenever something happens. So this is actually especially useful for when you're sniping. So if you come over here to the webhook tab on JMES, if you are pet sniping, it's going to tell you what you get. Or another useful feature is if you guys probably know a ton of people use alt accounts in this game to open up a bunch of eggs at the same time. And of course, you can't monitor all your accounts at the same time to see what they've hatched, but you can send notifications to you. So whenever you hatch an egg, you can make it say like whenever you got a secret pet or a huge or something, it's going to send you notification. And it does look like we're about to finish this huge chest, so hopefully I'm going to be able to show you what we get from this chest before the video ends. But yeah, you of course also have a automation tab on here where you can, this is actually a really useful tab. You can on only start hatching whenever there's a 25x luck event, so you could like join a private server and do that yourself. You can open up the only the amount of eggs that you need. And of course, as you could probably tell, they're adding some more stuff to it because there's an extra here with nothing below it. And then you have some settings you can save, so pretty cool script here. And this is the last script I'm going to showcase called Catalyst Hub. But again, as I said earlier in the video, there's going to be so many more scripts in the description. Like I'm going to have, uh, what are the other ones? I'm going to have so much other stuff like Project WD, BT Project, uh, Cypex Hub, tons of stuff like that. Those are some really good scripts, by the way. So yeah, over here, you also have your uh, auto farm, pretty much the same thing. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the Clover Coin farm. Or the lucky block sniper but yeah those are pretty much just as they seem it's going to keep going around the map until you get any all of the clover coins and the lucky blocks and then you have these settings for your auto farm you can also redeem these rewards so like your rank rewards um all that type of stuff you can change the color of the gui you can auto open eggs and even the guis okay that actually gave me a pretty decent amount of coins there Jeez. yeah we're just getting billions and billions of coins from that chest that just broke and i was only on that for what like 20 seconds there at the end so yeah clearly a really really good chest i don't even think i was there for more than 10 seconds there and i got a billion coins so yeah really really cool stuff here i'm not going to go over too much else so hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can and as always peace